This is Chad here at Coyote Classics, and today I'm bringing to you guys this 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Uh, this is a factory Grand Coupe. It came from the factory as original Hemi Orange car. Uh, the previous owner had repainted it in this dark blue metallic uh, a few years back, and uh, just a fantastic looking daily driver condition car. Uh, spent all of its life here out in California. Um, we do have the black plates for it still. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna see a rust-free undercarriage all painted in a nice satin black. Uh, looks fantastic underneath. Again, straight body, good looking paint, but uh, driver quality. So we'll get to it and uh, point out some pretty cool stuff on this car. Now with this being kind of a under 100,000 mile original car, our gaps are in great shape from front to back here on the front edge of the hood, all the way to the back. And back to the front. Hood lays down really nicely across the top of the fenders. Now, I'm gonna talk about like the, the paint. I didn't know this when I bought it. And when I bought it outside, freaking looked gorgeous. But underneath the lights, you can see that it's got uh, I don't know if it's dirt specks or just a little tiny solvent pop um, throughout the top edge of the paint. So that's what makes this just a nice looking cruise night car or driver. It is not a show quality paint job. Besides the paint, this is a very original car. Um, still has a 318 underneath the hood. The grill and stuff is all original still. A couple little cracks here and there, micro crack in here. Um, but all in all, the grill's really in decent shape. Here's your hood release. Hood pops right up like it should. Bottom side of the hood's painted nicely. They also did a nice job on the trunk too, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, inner fenders and stuff, you got the factory fenders here. Factory air conditioning, which is awful nice. So it's got air conditioning and power steering, no power brakes. Batteries newer within a year old got the correct hold down. It's got the factory fender tag which shows it as an original orange car Not sure why a guy would uh, change an orange car to a blue car, but who knows? Nice thing with this one is the air does work as well. It's got the fan shroud uh, the multi-blade fan nice or original radiator Front bumper appears to be original and that's in good shape, still shines really well. It's got updated headlights in it. I love the choice of Riddler wheels on it. Um, chrome wheels are all polished, beautiful. 245, 45, 18s. Uh, the wheels have been done in the last uh, three to four months. Here's what I'm talking about. Original car, you have a rust-free floors. The back of the hood lines up great to the top of the door. If a guy wants to make a show car out of it, you can definitely, you know, lightly sand it and repaint it, but it's so nice looking just the way it is. Um, it'd be kind of sad to do that as well. Unfortunately, it does have a little ding and a couple little tiny scratches right here on the door. It's got the original mirror with some solvent, uh, some chrome imperfections there. Vinyl top, excellent shape all the way through here around the windshield. Uh, the windshield's beautiful. It's got the light tint there. I'm guessing that's been replaced. Couple cracks around the speaker cover on the original dash pad. Other than that, the dash pad looks nice. Here's the biggest thing around the back window on a CUDA. Very, very solid all the way throughout. Back shelf's original. As we open up the doors, corner of the door is 100% rust free, never been messed with. Um, looks like they took everything apart. They took the doors, fenders, everything off, it looks like when they did the restoration and repainted it. Inner quarters are in great shape. And here's the next thing. This has got the leather interior in it. So as you see in these old Corvettes with the leather interior, the leather interior just kind of dries out and that's what happened to the driver's seat here. So it does have some, some little splits in the leather, but being the original Grand Coupe with the overhead console, uh, we got leather interior. I chose just to leave it as 100% original interior. Same thing with a carpet. 
carpet's still original. You can see the fade in the carpet, but uh, what a time capsule in, in the interior of this uh, Grand Coupe. It's got 85,975 believed to be original miles. Original AM8 track still in the car. Somebody did uh, go ahead and add a, a amp gauge. Inside the glove box is excellent. Another thing I noticed, uh, inside the trunk lid, that light works and so did the light under the hood. So pretty, and the console light above uh, works as well. Trunk lid, it's great. Um, chrome around the back all looks good. Like I, like I said, the Barracuda has a great shine and a nice straight body. Awesome stance and great look. Another kind of neat thing about the Grand Coupe, a little hidden key. Dalton's finishing up some other videos here, so I'm kind of batching it today. Makes it a little tougher. Light works in there. Uh, Rust-free trunk. Um, it did have like a mat in it when we got it in. It was kind of an old mat, so we chose, uh, it was painted black on there. I chose just to put a little trunk spackle in there. It's got a spare and jack and all that, but uh, just wanted to show you how solid and rust-free that trunk is. Anywhere you drive this Barracuda, you pull up to any car show, car cruise, people are just gonna flock to it. It's just got that color, the look, the stance. You know, there's so many uh, things you guys can do with this. Just drive it, enjoy it, turn the air conditioning on on a hot summer day and have fun. Or you can put a big block in it, spruce it up a little bit, do whatever your uh, heart desires on this one. Again, the back of the hood gap, top of the door, Front door gap is great. Bottom of the fender is nice. The door fits so flush to that quarter panel right there. Door rubbers were replaced during restoration. So they took them off, painted it rust free. Dome lights work there as well. Back seat's in great shape. I haven't been behind the wheel of this one yet, so this is a maiden voyage for me. Um, as far as a few things that work and don't work, the horn is not working, but the horn button feels good, so I'm guessing it's just the horn's not hooked up. The heater fan works great, air conditioning works as well. Wipers got new blades on them, they work excellent. Um, I mentioned a little bit ago that it does have a couple cracks on the dash pad as we look through the windshield. But all in all, as you're sitting in the cockpit, I like to call a Cuda and, a, and a, um, Challenger, kind of a cockpit. You feel like you're in an airplane here. But as we look in here, the dash pad of the front is all in great shape. The paint on the dash is really nice as well, like the glove box and everything. And one thing I want to really focus here on, Lisa, is just look at how cool and original this is. It's the original AM radio with a factory 8-track in here. I don't know if it's not hooked up or if it's just not working. Everything moves nice and freely with it. You know, the balance, everything. So if a guy wants to, you can probably take it out and get it refurbished. Um, somebody added um, an amp gauge here, um, which shows we're charging. The factory one isn't working, but the gas gauge and the temp gauge are working. Other than that, it's got the remote mirror and uh, just very nice and clean inside. I kind of forgot to, to point some of this stuff out here as we look at the inside plastic, the visors, it's got an overhead console in it, which is pretty damn neat. Look at that. Nice. Door ajar, seat belts. Takes a little bit for it to go back off, but uh, the day-night mirror up in here also is just nice and tight. 
It just tells you a little bit about the car being an 85,975, believed to be actual mile car. So I really like it. It's got seat belts in the front, seat belts in the back. And as I mentioned before, this Barracuda has the look. I mean, no matter where you pull into, um, even with the sound of the dual exhaust, you really don't know it's a 318 under the hood. Now with it being a little cold this morning, we're just gonna take it for just a little cruise and see how it goes down the road. Kick down works great. Transmission really shifted nicely. As we go here, the steering wheel's nice and straight as we stop. The alignment looks nice. Another thing to ask when you're uh, looking for a classic car, you know, how does the steering wheel feel? Is the steering column loose, you know? Being 50 years old, sometimes they're just really loose and they're, there's not a, a nice driving car. This one seems really nice. quiet inside as well as we're sitting here doing 65 mile an hour the speedometer is perfectly accurate it's not bouncing around as we look across the front of that hood the paint looks great out here outside as we look across that the top of the fenders line up perfectly with the top of the hood I'm just really impressed on how nice and tight this one is and as me and Dahl have talked many, many times before, and I'm sure he would be saying if he was in here right now, the low mileage cars just drive better than a restored car. Um, and that's just a proven fact. So check this one out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. Make sure you check out the undercarriage because you don't find a California pretty much rust-free Cuda like this every day, especially being a 1970. So yes, it has a few little imperfections here and there, but it's a cool original car you can drive and enjoy.